When you are looking at Windows event security logs, you most likely will be drawn onto the event ID and then you need to go either to a Microsoft site or to the wonderful Windows IT Ultimate Security site and, and look for okay exactly what does that event ID mean. Wouldn't it be nice to have that information displayed on the same place that you are looking at that as in shown in here. Well that's what this video is all about and this is a tip that my friend Julian Sattelmeier from Germany uh, wanted me to create a video on. And the trick is actually very simple. We're going to have a reference map created. And you see how easy it is. We, we are actually going to use the content from the Windows, the ultimate IT Windows security uh, site. And it will have all the Windows IDs and the description there will be an entry for every one of them, right? And then what we do is that we will create a custom event property that will be AQL based, meaning that whenever I find, and this we're going to make it only for Windows uh, event security logs, and then when any, any one of those custom properties gets uh, received, it's going to make an AQL call into this table for the specific ID and it will populate in there the data that you just saw. Let's actually do that. Where do you get the data that you'll use to populate that reference map? Well, if you go to my... didn't mean to run this video. But if you go to the video description of all my videos, there's this link to this public box folder with this uh, whole bunch of artifacts that accompany the videos and I just created this folder under the name Julian and in there you're going to find this Windows Event ID JSON. You want to download that because that's what we're going to be using to populate that reference map. So first create, let's create the reference map. So we go here and then create new. We specify the name I already did this, so I'm not going to do it again, but uh, then the alphanumeric, uh, we don't specify a time to leave, so it leaves forever, and then we click here, create, and that thing uh, gets created. I already did that, so let me actually search for it, and here we see it, and has no data right now, okay? If you don't have that view, that reference data management is a free app on the App Exchange. I really, I strongly recommend you to install it and, and use it. And you can do far more than just creating things. You can see the content, and you know, it's, a, it's a cool app to have. To populate it, we're going to uh, get to the Windows Event ID in whatever browser. Uh, editor you want to have and I'm going to take all the entries. So I do control A and do control C command C on a Mac to grab its content. And then to insert that I'm going to actually use the API and we are going to go into reference data. We are talking about maps, the reference map here and we're going to do a bulk load and we go here under name, we specify the actual name which is Windows Event ID Lookup and then here on the body is where we're going to be pasting what we got from that JSON file. This, this may take a little bit. When you click here, try out, this is going to actually execute that. And again, uh, it, it takes a little bit to do it, but we got a 200, meaning that uh, reference map is populated with all that cool data. If you want to be 
double sure that you did it right, you go back to the reference data management, go on the reference map, and then search for Windows event, that should be enough, Windows event ID lookup, and it already has all those nice entries. Now all we need to do is to create the custom property. So we go to the admin tab and under events or logs we go to the custom event properties and we're going to add a new custom property. It's going to be AQL base and then it's going to be a new property we're going to call it Windows Event ID Lookup it doesn't have to match the name of the reference set by the way but I just did it uh, for that uh, you don't want to select this enable search engine that's, that's going to get a performance impact because it's going to be used for every evaluation of the rules uh, and we are not we are not using rules for this we are just when whenever we look an event we want that property to be evaluated and and, and search so when the events are parsed then that ex that thing is is executed not with the evaluation of every of every rule we go down here and we are not we don't want it for all logs types we want it for Windows events uh, Microsoft let's go here Microsoft Windows security events which is what these uh, IDs are meant for and we want all the instances of those and that's what we put on the log source all the category let's make it any any to any and the AQL expression that is going to be evaluated every time that we get one of those event security, uh, Windows event security logs and we want to look for the right entry to put the description we are going to execute this AQL statement which is reference map that right there and then we're going to look for the put first the name of the actual table which is Windows uh, how we call it Windows event ID lookup uh, put in singular yes ID lookup then put a single quote to terminate that and then we are going to specify the actual key that we are going to be using to look upon that and that is going to be event ID because that's the entry where, where those will come then we put that in like so then we close this so I put a strange character there and I will wrote it all so once you have the expression completed you just save it and that has created that custom event property. If we go back here and we sort these by creation date. Let me go to the right. And we go back creation date and here we have it. After those simple steps if we go to any Windows security event logs as a filter I have in here and when you have the lookup the, the event ID you don't have to do any lookups or go to any table you have the descriptions in here